Now, on to other business, right? Okay, so the Wawa gas station that I was broke down at, you know, back in December, right before Christmas, of course, right? Um, for about five or six days, I'm looking for a new vehicle. You know, I'm broke down right there in the parking lot, and there's people living in the parking lot in their cars. So I'm like, oh, thank God, you know, like, I couldn't have been broke down closer to a better place because I did have to drive about six blocks to get there. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, it was perfect, but <laughs> it come with its own its its difficulties, right? First of all, there ain't no Mexicans around. Everybody's, you know, nobody helps anybody around there, or you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so like I couldn't even pay anybody for a fucking ride this girl that I met that was staying in her vehicle there she did food delivery and her and her son were living in her uh, it was actually a rent uh, uh, her vehicle was getting fixed so this was a loner van her and her son slept in and uh, you know she said she'd give me a ride like tomorrow or whatever so I'm like cool cool you know um so when the guy called me to come test drive, I was like, hey, the dude, you know, said, you know, he's ready for me to come test drive. And then she says, okay, I'll be there soon. Fucking an hour passes. I'm like, yeah, okay, she's one of those. Check. <laughs> you know, you're done. <laughs> you know. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk. But yeah, you're done. Um, I couldn't get a ride for nothing, dude. So finally a dude brings me a van to test drive. I fucking test drive it. Miles are low. It runs good. I don't have a choice at this point. So I bought it. So now I got two vehicles sitting there after five or six days. And then the main manager of the store, I hadn't seen this woman or her car the whole time I was there. Now suddenly it's there. So I go in and I'm like, I just need one more day because I got to junk this thing and then I'm out of here. And she's like, no. I'm like, what? what the fuck is going on here and i pieced it together now see she had it was like a week prior to that okay like a months ago a year ago there i posted something online about this symbol this italian symbol and it was on people's channels they were talking about fauci and the virus and all that and this symbol that fauci was representing and it's basically i can't it's like a snake and it's a baby is being fed to it well, this symbol I seen on a car, the back of a car, like a, within the, the week before I broke down, I, I took a picture of it. And, of course, the plates, too, because it's right by the plates. They might have seen me. I don't know. It might have been her. But she had that symbol on the back of her fucking car. So that whole week that I was stranded there, and t once I got my situation figured out, suddenly I'm a problem. What the fuck? And she, and she just suddenly appears, you know, on, on the scene. No. No, you have no more time. So now I'm piecing all that together and I'm like, this all seems orchestrated. That's why they didn't bother me. First of all, because I can't move. It's entertainment to see me stranded and stressed out, right? We know that, right? So as soon as I get myself unstuck, then it's, ah, fucking teeth come out, right? And this bitch appears with that fucking Italian symbol of a baby getting eaten by a snake. Now... And when I posted that like a year ago, I said, I don't want to talk about what I think about this. Well, I'm going to talk about it now. I think it's some kind of satanic fucking cult, at least. And then on top of that, I mean, to take it further, which I'm less um, certain about, you know, um, where they sacrifice people and possibly babies, you know, like the, all the evil shit you hear about. I don't know, but the shit is fucking weird, right? So anyway... I think it would be kind of a, uh, maybe a good thing to say what gas station that was, the address, and, uh, I think I might have her name still, but anyway, um, uh, but yeah, I think, I think her name is worthy to be put out there in the fucking public, right? That's pretty weird, dude. <laughs> That's pretty weird. Because, you know, this is not long after the hurricanes and shit, and people, I guess people sell they try to sell all these fucking flooded out vehicles. So like behind the scenes, what was going on? And then when the dude showed up to, for me to test drive it, there was right across the street. There's a Wells Fargo. Two sheriffs were in the 
Wells Fargo parking lot, like right in line with my vehicle and his van, like facing us straight, like par like straight in line with our vehicles. And I'm like, is this a sign that this dude's trying to fuck me or is this entertainment? Like, look at this stupid fucker. Look, look. I don't know. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, that, that whole fucking deal has felt like a setup. And more than just this guy was involved. I don't know if the sheriffs were. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say, uh, hell yeah. If I had to guess. But I, I more so, I believe the woman, that manager was involved. That, I believe, more so than, than the, the sheriffs, honestly. I really do. And right, right when I got the vehicle, like... They said they told everybody that they're gonna fucking have tow trucks coming in the morning and fucking anybody that's staying there all of a sudden is getting towed. Like this is shit I deal with all the time. I get singled out for no fucking reason, dude. This is what they do. This is. I mean, you think I'm lying? What do I lie about? So that's why I don't destroy my credibility because I need to be able to tell these stories and you need to understand that they're fucking true. And I'll get back to you with the address of that store. <laughs> 